In Kenya's capital, motorcycle taxis or border borders are the easiest and cheapest means to navigate Nairobi's dense traffic. One startup is working to tackle climate change and mobility by curbing air pollution. The company produces electric motorcycles that run on two rechargeable batteries. The batteries can be charged at any charging point, with each battery driving for around 90 kilometers. Here in Kenya there is, there is an air pollution problem. This is because of the booming border border industry in the country. Uh, interesting fact, 20,000 motorcycles are imported into the country every month. Uh, so even though these motorcycles help to uh, help us uh, navigate the fragmented transportation system here in Kenya, they really do increase the air pollution levels in the city. So with our solution, the room air yeah, electric motorcycle, it's a fully electric it's a fully electric motorcycle with a removable battery which can be charged at any outlet where you charge your phone. So because of this electric mobility solution, we're able to curb carbon emissions and reduce the air pollution that we have here in the city. The company's goal is to see public transport in Kenya transition to being fully electric. For its work, Raw Motors is shortlisted for the Earthshot Award where it stands to win $1.2 million in prize money. Being a finalist in the Clean Air category of the Earthshot Prize really is such an honor for, here, here, for us here at Rome. Uh, this global recognition puts the company on the global map. It helps people see exactly what we're doing here to ramp up electric mobility solutions for the country and for Africa as a whole. So winning the Earthshot Prize would really be such a dream come true because we'll be able to ramp up production, uh, expand to other markets other than Kenya, and be able to really build on this electric revolution happening in Africa today. Manufacturing electric vehicles can be costly, but the company is able to produce the bikes cheaply because it owns the frame. They do, however, import other necessary parts before doing the assembly in Kenya.